Hello and welcome. I'm Nathan Newbro, the CEO of the Colorado Springs Philharmonic, and I'm joined today by our music director, Joseph Caballé Domenic. Hello. We're here at GE Johnson Construction Company, who helped us uh, create the fr the Free for Kids project, which has introduced this great music to hundreds of young families across our region who have come out and enjoyed free tickets for the for the young people and uh, and so we're grateful to GE Johnson and construction Company. hundreds of them and more to come so that's, that's right. great yeah. we're here talking about Wagner Richard Wagner yes. and also the prelude and Liebestod from Tristano de Sol yeah Richard Wagner one of the genius of the music history and we are talking about this piece, which is the beginning and the ending of uh, this huge opera that he wrote, uh, longer than half, uh, four hours and a half. And we are playing only the first, the very first bars, <laughs> can right. we say, the very first minutes, which is the prelude, and then uh, goes connected to the Liebestod, which is the death of, because of the love, mm -hmm. which is the ending of the piece. Uh, the particularity is the piece ends with a very big, uh, let's say with a very big uh, scene, the soprano dying, and it's soprano plus the orchestra. In this, kind of, in this time when we do that, the piece as an orchestra, then the soprano line is always doubled by someone, so you mm -hmm. don't hear the voice, but actually you can recognize it, which is right. what makes this piece very interesting. So. Right, so the, what we're hearing is the prelude, which is the beginning yes. of the opera, and then the Liebestod, which is the love the death. The love of, yes, at the end. At the right. end, so this is when the soprano is dying yeah, yeah. at the end. And so and so we save you four hours music more or less. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so I want let's go straight to the Tristan chord. The yeah. Tristan chord is is one of the famous aspects of this work. Yeah, there was a there, there was a point in music history where where that happened, and Wagner was the one who did that. Uh, the use of the chord uh, that doesn't resolve or that resolve in another chord mm -hmm. that means that the tonality is not established until the end of the piece. If it's established at all mm -hmm. and, and in Tristan and Isolde that's the first time that he really used that uh, let's say consciously uh, making that his process of composition so using chords in a way that re re goes to other chords and doesn't resolve right so the, the resolution means that it, it it's uh, it, it reaches completion yep. and one of the one of the tensions that's built with this Tristan chord mm -hmm. is that it never resolves yeah, let's so let's the let's put the example. Let's put the example that uh, tonality or uh, resolve means that you feel at home, mm -hmm. and then you go somewhere else, but you come back home, so you feel at home. In this kind of music, you never really feel at home because there is no home. The home is just going from one place to the other through the chromatic uh, melodies and through the chromatic uh, resolutions. Indeed, indeed. Well, it builds so much tension throughout the that's entire it. piece, and then it's finally at the end when she dies. And that's yeah. when it's finally resolved. That's it. And uh, and w one of the most famous parts of the opera, of course. Yes, definitely. W well, it's our pleasure to bring this to the Pikes Peak Center stage. Thank you for bringing it to us. What a fantastic work of music. We hope that you can join us. I'm Nathan Newbro. This is Joseph Caballé Domenic. We're here at GE Johnson Construction Company. We hope that you'll find out more about the Philharmonic on Facebook, Twitter, our website, csphilharmonic.org. Thanks very much. Thank you.